Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today Who's ready for a little showdown? Precisely. So today we're playing quite possibly my favorite mage deck. Mozaki OTK Mage. So how this deck works is you want to fill up your hand with low cost spells and then start playing them all rapidly with two Sorcerer's Apprentice and Mozaki on board. We do have Thorason and Polkelt to help us draw better and to also reduce the cost of our Sorcerer's Apprentices and our Mozaki. Then when you start coming down to the bottom of your deck, you'll get a lot of Frost Bolts, Freezing Potions, and Ice Lances, which then you can use to OTK the opponent. Now this deck is definitely just a budget version of Quest Mage. Well, if you can even really call it a budget version. They play basically the same, but I personally just like casting like 10 spells in a turn rather than just taking two turns. So without further ado, let's get to the games. Okay. This isn't a bad hand. Unless it's aggro druid. Then we're just conceding. We can do this. See? Boom. If power is what you see, see, and now they throw away Raza. Right here, and then they concede. <gasps> Whatever, whatever, I'm still putting that in. Fuck that. I didn't get the combo off, but that game was hype. Okay, can it not be Big Priest? And can we get some draw? Okay, so we got Mozaki. That'll be nice for the Thor song, because then we get to go right into our three drops. Just play the Spellwing on turn one. And there's some draw for turn two. You just want to find the Polkeld as soon as possible. Uh, okay, so we'll play... Possible Brig Priest with Quest because they didn't throw away the card where Quest would be. Something to think about. Big Priest is probably our worst Priest matchup with the exception of Combo Priest. But there's only really three Priest decks, which is Combo Priest, Big Priest, and Reno Priest. Alright, well there's Thorson, so after a pull cap, we get to go right into our three drops. If I could get him out of my deck, that is. We got another draw in Blood Mage Thalnos. But other than that, we only have four cards left in our deck that draw us extra cards. Okay, we'll throw away a magic trick. Can we get some more draw, please? No, but I don't want to have to deal with like a Shadow Essence if it's a big priest, so Counter Spell is probably the best pick there. I don't think we ever will end up... Okay, so it's it's like a res priest, big priest sort of deal. Oh wait, if he tries to coin out Shadow Essence here, then I just don't get to counter the Shadow Essence. But he also doesn't get to play Shadow Essence this turn, so... Give a little, get a little, I guess. Any of our draw cards right now would be great. Or a pull count. Though they're what we're looking for. Come on! I wonder. Top 10 cards in my deck, please. Okay, okay, one of our draw cards, finally. And there's Polkelt. Oh, sure. So him getting more of these fucking convincing infiltrators is terrifying. Because then that fucks over our entire game plan.
Now we can coin to test the counter spell and then Shadow Essence. To then get two 5-5 five, five copies of minions in his deck. If he has Shadow Essence or if he runs it. But this looks like a, uh, a big priest rather than a just like a regular res priest. All right. So next turn is pretty, or the uh, next turn isn't that Thor's unworthy. I definitely killed at least one minion. Oh shit! Well, shit. Uh. How much do I use to kill that? Does it even matter? They just get like resurrections and shit. Let's see, we got two. Yeah, we got four. We do have eight, so we do have enough to kill that. And I think we need to. Oh, that feels so bad, though. Especially if he just casts, like, a resurrection here, because then he gets it again with Vargoth. <sighs> so we're really wanting to draw Arcane Intellect, just to still be cycling through. We do have Frost Novas that we can use, but... They're not all that useful in this matchup. That's fine. Probably the best roll we had. And then he's gonna go ahead and throw Shadow Visions into that pool, so let's hope he rolls Shadow Visions. Alright, so there's second ice block. Guess we'll just whip that out. We're guaranteed to get either Arcane Intellect, Flame Ward, or Frost Nova next turn. Arcane Intellect's what we're looking for, because then that gets us out of the three drop section. Okay, can we please get Arcane Intellect here instead of Flame Ward? And then from the Arcane Intellect, if we could draw, well, we're guaranteed to draw Flame Ward and Research Project. That would be pretty cool. I won't lie. I won't lie and say it wouldn't be cool. Because it would be. It would be very cool. Because we're going to need the Ice Lance and the Freezing Potions to be able to do a big burst to the face. Uh, as well as our frost bolts. So mass res right now would only get them Catherine, Katrina, and convincing infiltrator, but that might just be their turn. Thank fucking god. This doesn't matter anymore. However. Emperor Thor sonning here could also be pretty nice. So that's what we'll do. We got Ice Block. We got Flame Ward. We're either drawing Frostbolt, another Sorcerer's Apprentice, or Research Project. Research Project is our highest chance. And Tomb's fine. Wait, is then Tomb always an enemy minion? Ugh, it is. So he's not getting anything taken away from him here. Not the biggest fan. Behold. We're 
we're keeping this so that we can uh, get more spell damage off that with Mozaki. And we very much need at least one research project here. So if we don't draw a research project, we've just lost. Okay, well, let's get it started. Listen. I like Frostbolt. And there we go, baby! The discovered Frostbolt, but it still would have been fine because we had Ice Lance. So you can't say that with a random win. Let's fucking go, boys! Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget if you want to see me play any decks to leave them down in the comment section below. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.